Tony. I didn't realize how much I needed that. Uh, you remember my brother? Oh, yes, yes, of course. It's nice to see you again. Right, you too. I wish it was under better circumstances. So do I. I'm going to head back down to ICU. Okay. I see you tomorrow. Bye. I can't even begin to imagine how you must feel. No, you can't. And it's a blessing. Well, what do you want? I don't know. Barbara, you're the only one who can straighten out this mess. You better decide what you want, and you better decide fast. Well, I can't straighten out anything if Tony's not going to speak to me. Too convenient. Do you want him to speak to you? Of course I do. So what do you want him to say? It's all right, it never happened, forget it? You'll go back the way you were before? Yeah. No. I'm not sure. Barbara, you don't have a lot of time here. You've got to decide. Now, Dr. Jones is a rational man. If you're honest with him, I believe he'll listen. But you've got to decide. You've got to decide what it is you want. Now, I ask you again, what do you want? I don't know. I can't think right now. Pull yourself together, Barbara. If you don't think, if you don't act now, there may be nothing to say when you finally wake up and take a look around. Well, he'll never understand. When I first came back, I asked you what the scam was with Dr. Feelgood. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe that this, this wild cat I left behind had turned into a declawed house kitten when I wasn't looking. I had everything I always wanted. Yeah? Did you? Did you? Then why Damien? I don't know. Will you stop it, please? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever you decide, I'm on your side. Barbara, whatever you do, whatever you choose, I'm with you. And nothing, nothing will ever change that. Barbara, nothing. I didn't say anything. Were my thoughts getting too loud? You yeah, must have. I was thinking that um, as horrible as this is, at least something good came out of it. Yeah, Maxie has a chance for life. Because... Because uh, BJ's gone. I was there, you know. Where? In the OR when they took her heart. And the, the team seemed to be everywhere. It was a, sort of a controlled frenzy. With noise all over the place, monitors and ventilators, and the orders and even feet moving around. And then? And then Monica lifted her heart out, and I saw it. I saw it just for a few seconds. And then everybody left, and it got very quiet. It was incredibly quiet, except for the, the cardiac monitor. And I, I had never really noticed that sound before. It was 
the sound the, the flat line makes, it was like somebody was crying. And I, I reached up and I turned it off. And she was lying there. It was like she was asleep, like nothing had ever happened. And then it was finally, truly silent. And I, I think that was when I knew. When you finally knew why? Oh, that BJ was dead. The, the, she'd been dead when they brought her into the ER, but I just, I didn't, uh, I, I hadn't. You couldn't admit it? I couldn't feel it. Well, I still don't want to. so tight, he's about to break. It's a mess. Hmm. The dead, and it's like they're doing everything they can to throw their marriage in the grave. Oh, it's like uh, watching a, a train wreck. There's nothing more you can do now, Luke. Oh, honey. Something I need to hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. But you can't. 